Hello, this is Hans van der Kwast, Senior Lecturer at IG Delft Institute for Water Education. In a previous video we have styled the catchments and streams of the Ruhr as given in Chapter 4 of the book QGIS for Hydrological Applications. In this video we are going to continue with that data. Um, we are going to add cities and towns from OpenStreetMap and we prepare uh, the layout for styling which will be covered in another video. First we're going to install the quick OSM plugin. You find it under plugins. Manage and install plugins. If you do a search you can easily find it. In my case uh, it is already there but I need to upgrade. So I'm going to upgrade this. Remember that you need an internet connection for this. So we open the quick OSM plugin from the vector menu. And if you want to know the keys and values and if they are available as points, lines and polygons, you can click the help button. But here we are going to use place. And from place we will first download all the cities. And we want it uh, in the layer extent of the DEM so that it also covers a bit around the catchment. And if you click the advanced button, you can choose there the points and run the query. If the internet is slow, you can increase the timeout value. This one has loaded, and I'll do the same for towns. This one has also been loaded, so it's added now to the layers list. And uh, what we see is uh, that it has this chip symbol, which means that it's a temporary layer. That means that it gets lost uh, if we close uh, QGIS. So I'm going to save this now to a geo package. And we give the layer the name Towns, and we also change the projection to the one from the project. And we repeat this procedure for the temporary file uh, of city. Save features as geo package. Make sure the geo package is chosen. Choose the right database and change the layer name in this case to city. And we change the projection to the one of the project. So now we can remove those temporary layers. And we can check our database. We need to uh, refresh. And there we see that cities and towns are now also added to the Ruhr data. We are now going to style the Ruhr cities data. So I open the layer styling panel. And there we are going to use the simple marker. We're going to use another marker symbol. And here in this list we find the topo pop capital. And now we can also label it. Choose single labels. And the field I want to label it with is the name field. I'm changing the font to a uh, sans serif font, which is better readable, and I'll choose Arial. Make it a bit smaller. Choose nine points. And use a bold font. Go to the buffer and switch on the text buffer. Change the color. 191 for R, G, and B. Comes a bit softer background. And then we use a blending mode soft light. This gives a nice effect that the buffer is not very disturbing and uh, blends nicely in with the background. We change the placement, increase the distance to 2.5 millimeter, 
and we choose a cartographic mode of placing the labels. Now we're going to do the same styling with uh, the towns. We switch to the symbology and we're going to change the marker. We can change to all symbols and then we will find Topo Pop City and that's the one we are using. We can change the labels. Also here we will use single labels and label with the name field. We also choose the Arial font here. and make it a bit smaller to 8 points and keep it as regular. We draw text buffer in the same way, so we change the color to the same gray. And use the soft light blending mode. And for the placement, we change the distance to 2 mm. And we change the automated placement engine to not truncate the labels on the edges of the map. So we uncheck this box. Now we also are going to make a separate uh, boundary of the rook catchment, which is not using the inverted polygon shape burst fill, so I duplicate the catchment polygon and I'm going to style this copy with just a single simple and I'm going to remove the shape burst fill by pressing the minus and I change the layer rendering Again to 100% and this gives us a sharp boundary of the catchment which I'll need later. Now all the layers have been prepared and styled for uh, making a physical map with the print layout. Uh, in the next video I'm going to demonstrate how to do that.